What is up, guys? Thanks for tuning in for another video. If you have a crunchy transmission or crunchy feeling when you're shifting gears, make sure you watch the whole video, and I will show you guys how to improve the shifting on your manual transmission. So, this is a G35 with a six-speed manual transmission CD009. And um, it will not only work on the CD009, it would work on the Miata transmission, the RX-8, pretty much a bunch of uh, six-speed uh, Asian uh, gearbox. And there'll be a lot of um, causes that will cause your transmission to feel like uh, a bit notchy and, um, you know, kind of like um, just crunchy and not a smooth like shift hard to get into gears and stuff so in this video I'm only talking about its um, synchro wear I'm not talking about say the clutch or any other issue that will cause hard, hard to get into gear because those are not transmission related issues so with that being said most people have the issue from getting first gear into second it would crunch or it would just not get into gear or you kind of have to double clutch um, to get into gear so that's um, that's kind of a sign of your second gear synchronizer getting a bit worn and I will show you guys what you need to do to solve that so this oil this transmission oil will fix that problem so you guys be like no way this this transmission it's only an oil it's not gonna fix the synchro issue and let me tell you guys I've been driving this car for the last probably a month since I've done the oil change and it certainly does improve the shifting feel by a hell of a lot so this is the 75W90 Ford transmission oil the manual transmission oil a lot of people use Redline MT oil and um, not saying that's not a good oil that is a good oil but it's not that great when the oil is cold or when your transmission is not fully warmed up it doesn't like to get into gear and I'm sure you guys will know what I'm talking about so with this oil why is it so great why is it gonna fix the not feeling like not liking to get into gear transmission so pretty much this one have the friction additives in this oil and what it does is say from first gear you're trying to shift into second the second gear synchronizer have to speed up to match with whatever speed going into it so now you're trying to put it into second and it's not because it's a bit worn it doesn't like to like kind of match up to synchronize and what that does is um, because of the friction material kind of speeds up the the synchronizer so it kind of helps the synchronizer to work easier match from gear to gear that is why it would improve the shifting because your synchronizer doesn't have to work as hard and basically that is the theory or that is the reason why that oil it's so good for you know if you're having issues or problems with your transmission so just giving you guys a closer look this is the uh, part number and um, and yeah so if you search that up the part number and stuff you will find this oil it is not cheap but um, it is a hundred percent worth it now I'm in New Zealand and three bottles of these oil cost me nearly three hundred dollars uh, equivalent to US dollar maybe 220 or 230 but yeah, um, if you guys in America, the bottling may be uh, slightly different. I'll say probably Motorcraft, uh, whatever, blah, 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 menu transmission oil. But it's the same stuff as full synthetic. And um, I've had uh, different friends that run this oil before. Um, had friends run it in the RX-8, had friends run it in the Miata. And they all had super good like result after using this transmission oil. It's easier to get into gears because you know, if your transmission doesn't feel good, it's not a enjoyable drive. The the transmission, how the transmission feel, is the first important thing that that is uh, related to how exactly how your car feel. It's you know the connection between you and the car. Um, just want to say I am not uh, sponsored by you know Motorcraft oil or anything like that. It's just my personal experience and my friend's experience. The feedback, you know, on this specific oil I just want to get it out there and hopefully help you guys out you know 
and yeah without further ado um i'll track the clips of me changing the oil yeah if you find this video helpful leave a like uh share it to your friends and yeah definitely after you guys change the oil leave your review down in the comment section below and let me know how you guys uh you know how you guys went with the oil like is it an improvement and yeah stay tuned for the four door sedan thing because um quite a bit of stuff has kind of been going on behind the camera which i will upload the video in the next uh, couple of weeks you know fixing the backhand and all that kind of fun stuff and yeah without further ado i will see you guys in the next video you want to get this size allen key now for the transmission you always want to undo the fill plug which is right there and then the drain plug just in case you undo the drain plug and you couldn't undo the fill plug so you can't get oil in there so I'm gonna get a pan here so I can drain the oil so just like that that's the fill plug Here's a drain plug. Alright, so filling up the oil, I have this clear hose and then um, just gonna use one of this funnel and then goes into the plastic hose and then um, have one person outside the car holding a hard in the transmission fill point. Alright, just uh, screw the drain plug back in. And now I'm gonna start filling up the oil. So if I'm not mistaken, you take in about 2.7 I think to 2.9 liter. But yeah, I think it's three quarts of oil or something. But yeah, I'm just gonna fill it up until the oil is coming out of the drain plug. So I know it's definitely full. Alright guys, now the car is on. So you just wanna check for leaks. Doesn't look like there's anything leaking, which is good. 